Welcome to Land House. I'm Seth. Dr. Prepare just sent over this lithium iron phosphate 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at its features and then I want to install it here in my off grid shed and see how well it charges and discharges. Let's do a good old fashioned unboxing here. We've got some washers and some bolts there, some packing foam, and then the lithium iron phosphate battery here. It's got a carrying handle, which is really nice. Luckily, these things are a lot lighter than traditional batteries. Okay, let's pull this protective wrap off of here. All right. The battery comes in the box, and so does a little information booklet, and then just these bolts here and some washers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the battery. On the top up here, it has got a carrying strap and these batteries aren't as heavy as traditional batteries. Looks like you could also remove the strap if you wanted to. It's got a little uh, indention on the side. Hopefully you can see that where you could just pull that strap out of there. I'm going to leave it there because it definitely makes it easier to carry. So the positive and negative terminals have a uh, little plastic protector in there. We'll go ahead and put that back in for just a moment. And then the rest of the battery is just blank, unmarked. And here on the front, let me read off this real quick. Lithium iron phosphate. It's a deep cycle battery. Specifications, capacity is 12.8 volts. It's got a 100 amp hour. It's got, uh, let's see, 1,280 watt hours. Charging voltage, 14.6 volt. Max discharge current, 100 amps. Max charging current, 50 amps. And the operation temperature is 32 degrees to 140 degrees. So this battery will stop charging and discharging whenever the temperature is below freezing. Or if it gets to be above 140 degrees, which that would be uh, pretty warm. We'll go ahead and unscrew this little plastic protector here. Put a washer down over and then screw in that bolt and we'll just use that in there to attach to our system in a minute. I do the same thing over here. I brought a multimeter out here so we can see what the voltage is on the battery. We've got 13.15 looks like. This is the power setup for my studio. I've got the charge controller and an inverter and then the breaker up here. So I'm going to turn off the power from the solar outside and this inverter is already off. I'm gonna turn off the charge controller by turning this little switch right here. And so now I can disconnect my battery. For the purpose of this test, I'm gonna use just these cables here, disconnect this current battery, and just use these on the new system. It's only a thousand watt inverter, so we won't be able to uh, pull more power than these cables can use anyway. So let me go ahead and disconnect the battery. And like I said, just for the purpose of this test, I'm going to simply use this cable here to bridge this gap to the battery. And uh, if I decide to use this out here in the future, I will probably uh, get the cables that are appropriate for it. But uh, because my shed out here is not heated, it does drop below freezing sometimes in the winter. So we'll have to see how well it performs out here. All right, and now I'm just gonna attach this to our Dr. Prepare battery. There shouldn't be any kind of spark here, but let's find out. Nope, it's always a good thing. I'm gonna turn back on my charge controller now this battery needs to have the settings at 14.5 uh, volts on the charge controller. So let me go into the menu real quick and do that. I'm going to put 14.5 on the EQ and then for the absorb and float, I'm going to do 14.4 uh, and that should be fine. I'm going to flip back on the solar and see what happens here. 
Got uh, 295 watts coming in. There we go, 298 watts. I've seen 300 coming in. Battery's at 13.8. Let's go over here and turn on the inverter and we can go ahead and get some power output from this battery. All right, these lights here are coming from the new battery and I can turn on my studio lights up here. So we've got those two are also being run from this battery. We still have 290 watts coming in, battery's at 13.7. So far the Dr. Prepare battery is running quite well. It's got uh, about 290 watts coming in, 13.7 volts on the battery. And between my three studio lights up here and then these small lights over here, it's pulling about 100 watts. So I'm gonna let this charge in the sun all day and we'll come back later and see if it reaches that full 14.5 volts and uh, and then maybe I can let it discharge this evening and uh, just see what kind of time we get out of this. Let me read the specifications of this battery real quick. So it's got a cell type of a lithium iron phosphate. The rated capacity is 100 amp hours. The rated voltage 12.8 volts. Max charging voltage 14.6 volts. The max discharging current is 100 amps. The max charging current is 50 amps. But wait, there's more. The life cycle is 1,000 cycles. The size, uh, the uh, let's see, length is 13 inch. It's 8.66 tall and uh, 6.77 wide. It weighs 25.1 pounds, which is 11.39 kilograms. Charging temperature range 32 to 113, which is 0 to 45 Celsius. The discharge temperature is 14. Oh, that's good. Uh, a lot colder than I was anticipating. So I may keep this out here because it will charge most days during the winter here in North Carolina. And I can discharge down to 14 degrees, uh, up to 140, which is negative 10 to 60 Celsius. And the storage temperature range, negative four to 113 degrees. Uh, store for one to three months, it says. Um, if you wanna store for a year, negative four to 68 degrees. Nice, that's uh, pretty good. I had not seen that it would continue to discharge down to 14 degrees. So here where I am, I've seen five degrees a couple years ago, but typically in the daytime, it skyrockets back up to, uh, you know, 20s, 30s, so should be good. It's 10 o'clock now, so the sun went down about four o'clock this afternoon. The battery did get up to 13.8 uh, volts, and I've had the lights on, and I've been doing some testing without you to kind of see how this thing operates. Uh, we're now at, looks like 12.7 uh, volts there on the battery. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what I've been doing. I've got this 200 watt light here, just to see how well this battery performs. So you can plug that up here and turn that on. And so it drops down a little bit on the voltage. It's got 12.5 uh, right there. So the battery is handling that small load just fine. So basically that's a total load of somewhere around uh, 300 to 350 watts. Uh, that's being pulled off the battery at the moment because that thing is incredibly bright. Thank you so much for watching this video on the lithium iron phosphate from Dr. Prepare. I will continue to use this battery over the coming weeks and see how it performs in cold weather and I will give you an update on that. If you want to check out this battery, I have links in the description down below so you can check it out and see if this battery will fit your needs. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.